Here is an example how we can use the ternary diagram to determine the blend compositions from the crude oils, individual crude oils. On the ternary diagram you see two regions shaded. The gray shaded region is the aromatic intermediate region marked by A-I and uh, the green shaded region, the right hand side corner, is the naphthenic region. So let's start with placing our individual crude oils A and B on this ternary diagram. For A, we have 10% naphthenes, so we should first find the 10% naphthene line on this diagram. It is against the corner of naphthenic uh, crude, 100% naphthenic corner, and parallel to the line that joins aromatic and paraffinic corners that is the uh, the first major uh, tick on this uh, group of lines so that is the 10% naphthene line now our, the crude A also has 60% aromatics so we can now find that line on the diagram starting from the top corner aromatic corner which is 100% coming down to find the 60% line and intersection of that line 60% aromatic with 10% naphthenic will identify or will determine locate crude A on the ternary diagram. You can see that the crude A falls in the aromatic intermediate crude region so it's an aromatic intermediate crude now let's place crude B on this, on this diagram. Crude B has 10% aromatics and 60% naphthenes. Let's first find the 10% aromatics line right across from the aromatics corner, the line that is parallel to uh, the line combining paraffinic and naphthenic corners as the major uh, tick line, 10% from the, at the bottom of the diagram. So on this line all the uh, points will have 10% uh, aromatics uh, in essence. Now let's find the other line so we can place crude B on this 10% aromatic line. Naphthenes are 60% so if we locate the 60% naphthenes line the intersection of these two lines, 10% aromatic and 60% naphthenes, will place B in the naphthenic region. So crude B is a naphthenic crude. All the mixtures or blends we can make from crude A and crude B will fall on a straight line that combines or connects point A with point B. So you can see there is an intermediate region here between aromatic intermediate and naphthenic crudes that is paraffinic naphthenic PN P-N So you can see there are three possibilities for the final blend C It could be aromatic intermediate, paraffinic naphthenic or naphthenic crude depending on the ratio of A to B so the given ratio is uh, of A to B is 2 over 3. When we place that ratio on, on the line, on the blue line in this plot, you can see that point C, the blend falls on the boundary between paraffinic naphthenic and naphthenic region, right on that green line. So the blend C could be uh, between paraffinic naphthenic and naphthenic classifications. This is a borderline case. So if you would like to make a paraffinic naphthenic crude from these two crudes A and B, then you need to increase the concentration of A in the blend. But if you would like to end up with a naphthenic crude in the blend, then you need to increase the concentration of B. So you can essentially traverse this line between A and B by changing the ratios of these two crews in the final mix.